Hi, I'm Christy Clark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the latest issue of Crafts Beautiful. It's the UK's best-selling craft magazine, and it's on sale in all good news agents Friday the 2nd of March, priced just £3.50. I'm joined today by Corin Brad, a top designer who's created some fantastic projects for Crafts Beautiful. She's here today to give us an insight into the April issue and a demonstration of her own. Hi Corin. Hi Christy. I understand there's something quite exciting about Crafts Beautiful this month. Yes, every issue now from the April edition, Crafts Beautiful will be giving you four fantastic backing papers to use on cards, notebooks, gift tags. They're designed by Crafts Beautiful's own Annette Simpson and they'll fit in with the season. That's brilliant. There's also the A5 full colour card making book. There's nearly 40 projects in there, ideas and inspirations, and this month's theme is celebrations. Perfect size to pop into your handbag, so when you're shopping for all your materials, you know exactly what you need. I find those card books fantastic. No, they really do help out. Now, what else have we got to test our skills on this month? You've brought lots yeah. of things in. Over there, Sally Southern has created some great little painted birdhouse plant sticks. Uh, so they look great on a windowsill or in the garden. She's also continued the theme in some ideas for children's parties. You've got initial cocktail sticks, and there's some great little felt bugs over there as well. Fantastic. Oh, I see those. Lovely. Uh, Elizabeth Mode has used um, quilling techniques to make Easter cards, decorated eggs. There's a covered notebook there with a little sheep on the front of it. Let's have a look. Now these are my favourites. Yeah, now Jill Albers has created a young girl's bedroom set using pink gingham and daisy motifs. And I say young girls, but... Uh, I want Yeah, them. I think it would appeal to anybody. Oh, fantastic. So Karen, talk to us about features. Yeah, we have some new features coming up now in Craft Beautiful. Every month we're going to be focusing on how to incorporate the latest fashions and designs into your crafts. Okay. Dawn Bibb is writing for us again. Brilliant. She, she has a new column um, with hints and tips and reviews of equipment. She's also answering a reader query every month, so if you've got any queries, get writing in now. Uh, Janet Wilson is taking our Craft Academy for the April issue and there will be step-by-step -step techniques in there. Brilliant. There's also a very important feature, how to sell your finished crafts. It's all very exciting. So now I understand that you've got your own demonstration for us today. Yeah. I'm going to be using Fimo's new magic bead roller to create some great bits of jewellery. You can make really beautiful marble beads. They are gorgeous. In seconds. Mm. Um, the bead roller is just two pieces of grooved plastic that slot together and then you, you slide them to create a bead. So to get the marbled effect, if you take, you don't need too much, a sliver of pink, pink and white. Go for pink and white. And some white. Now Fimo Soft is uh, a non-preconditioned um, polymer clay and it's so malleable that you don't need to warm it up before you use it. So just roll out your two colours at the same length and blend them together. And this is a really simple marbling technique. It's really quick isn't it? Yeah. The more you marble it, the finer the grain of the marble comes. into the handy little measuring device that okay. comes with the bead roller and your best way to do it just pop it in and slice it off and then you can poke the individual pieces of Fimo out with a pencil now they don't look very much at the minute I can't believe how quick it is it is, very quick now what you need to do before you put it in the bead roller is just crimp those ends up a bit. Okay. Okay. Take your bead roller, put the guide strip in place, 
And to make sure that your marbling runs in the same direction, just watch how you put it in the bee roller to start with. I'm going to make some oval beads like these, uh, like these ones. Okay. Put the lid on the top and simply go backwards and forwards a couple of times. That's really clever, isn't it? Bead. Yeah, they're great. I mean, it's, it's so difficult to get beads all the same size and it's so difficult to make beads which don't have finger marks in them as well. You only need to do it a couple of times. If you do it too much, what tends to happen is the outside of the bead um, gets rubbed too much. You end up with a massive hole in the middle, which you don't need. You don't need to do it more than twice. And you can make oval beads, circular beads, and some great little triangular beads. Great. The best thing to do once you've made your beads, before you try and put a hole in them, because as I say, Famo Soft is quite malleable, okay. um, if you were to try and put a hole in it now, you would find, if you weren't careful, that you'd squash the bead. Now actually this hasn't been too bad. But um, if you chill them in the fridge for about an hour, before you try and poke the needle through, and then once you've poked it through, just go like that a couple of times, it makes the hole bigger. Then you can bake them um, in a normal conventional oven, about a gas mark a half, 110 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and you end up with... How do you make them as shiny as yours are? Well, you just use a acrylic varnish. Um, and I've found the best way to do that is if you thread your beads onto your necklace to start with. Yeah. And then you can just hold the ends of the necklace, take a brush, and just varnish so them individually. Not touching the and then bead. you don't get any finger marks on it. Just leave them to dry for 10 minutes and they're fine. Corinne, that's brilliant. Thanks ever so much. Thanks. Once again, Corinne had some fantastic ideas for us. Get out and have a go. The April issue is in stores Friday the 2nd of March and it's just £3.50. See you next time. If you've enjoyed this demonstration, then why not treat yourself or a friend to a subscription of your favourite crafting magazine. Every month, you'll have the latest issue delivered direct to your door, so you'll never have to worry about missing out. You can sign up to Crafts Beautiful via direct debit for just £8.90 every three issues or £37 for 12 issues. Subscribe now and you'll receive this great free gift of an Easter decoration kit from Panduro Hobby, plus a copy of Crafting Springtime Gifts. As a subscriber, you'll also enjoy over a hundred projects from the UK's best designers, a cover-mounted card book worth £2.95, pattern templates and a set of exclusive backing papers with every issue. To sign up online, visit www.craftsbeautiful.com or call 01778 392 081.